Hello, a very good afternoon to all of you, my YouTube family, my YouTube uh, followers. And a very big thank you to Wodemaya. Wodemaya, I want to thank you so much for welcoming me to the YouTube family. Thank you so much. I just want you to know that you are welcome into my home today. I want to just show you my home. And to all of you, my YouTube followers, and those who are about to become followers, uh, just a reminder remember to subscribe to the channel and also to like the video to call, give a comment and press the bell icon uh, by doing so you'll be supporting my channel and encouraging me by leaving your comments i just want to take you today uh, into my home to show you uh, one of my talents that i've had from when i was a young boy I discovered when I was a young boy that I had the, the, the ability to paint, to draw. And I'm going to show you now uh, some of the paintings I've done. Uh, I framed them in the house. And perhaps maybe one day you would like to buy some. You can always contact me. Now, here we go. I got, I got outside here. This is a painting of Ray Charles. And you know the reason why I got inspired to paint this character? Ray Charles was a blind man who never allowed his disability to limit him. And that's why I was so keen to paint Ray Charles, a musician in America, a black American, who sold to fame because he never put himself down because of the limitations of his eyesight he was a blind man and he was able to play the piano like no man's business so this man is an inspiration to me is an ins inspiration to me in the sense that you know i get so inspired because he's telling us from his life that you know my brother my sister it doesn't matter uh, whether it's your age or your, your, your disability to limit you to the things that you want to achieve in this life. You can do it. All you need to do is determination and uh, with one mindset. So that's Ray Charles. I've put him here in my backyard. And as you can see, um, this one is actually vanished. So even if it rains or whatever, it, it still remains the same. Um, let's go with me inside. I'm going to take you inside the house now. I'm going to show you some of the paintings I've done. And every painting has a story. Every painting I do has a story to tell. So here I have, let me just show you. Here I have, you might not see this properly, but there's a painting here of a woman bathing in the river this painting actually it, it reminds me of the time when i was growing up in the village in a place called mukushi um we used to swim on the mukushi chibefe river that's how i learned how to swim it was in the river and you know we we were wearing no swimming costumes whatsoever with all the friends and you know it was just fun growing up in those times this one here because of the position and the space if you can see properly this is nelson mandela nelson mandela you can see there's a chain which has got different colors you've got orange white and black a chain of different colors behind the background the reason i painted this man here is an inspiration to my life he is an inspiration to my life in the sense that, you know, he was jailed for 27 years for freedom. He was a freedom fighter of Africa, this man, Nelson Mandela. And he fought for the liberation of the black people in South Africa. And you know, despite the fact that he was locked up for 27 years, when on his release, he, 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 you know, he was released from prison, and he had no grudge against the white people. He, from his story, it inspires me because he exercises 
the gift of forgiveness. Because if he was a man of vengeance, he could have just said all the whites out of South Africa. But you know what? He unified the country. Although it's still going through issues in South Africa, but for Nelson Mandela, that's the reason I painted him, just to remind me, you know, of his good, kind, and heart, kind heart. Here I have another small painting of Ray Charles. And then I got here the lion. And the reason why I painted this lion, because, you know, uh, currently you find people from other countries going to Africa for trophies to go and hunt animals. And I was very devastated. I was very upset when I heard that an American went to, to, to uh, Zimbabwe and shot one of the big lions over there and an elephant. So it really upsets me. And these animals are at the brink of um, extinction. If the world doesn't do anything about protecting these animals, we will be just telling stories like I'm telling right now. You know? So that's why I painted this one here. As you can see from the eyes, it's like it's about to pounce on, a, on prey. So that's the lion I painted. And all these paintings I do are done in oil paint. So they can last a lifetime. In my living room here, I have a painting here. It's a massive one on the wall. Now, as you can see from the colors, bright colors. This one reminds me of Africa with all the brilliant colors that we have and the brightness of the sunshine. Our sunshine in Africa is awesome. This one reminds me of the time when I used to grow up in the village. Back home in Mukushi. I grew up in a village where we used to walk barefoot and we used to go and swim on the rivers. And uh, so this one reminds me of back home as well. And the mountains that we have there, the Muchinga Escarpment, we used to climb them, play over those mountains in the bush and it was fun. With this one here, I've always wanted to do an Australian painting. And this one was just uh, one of those things that I just wanted to do. You know, to, just to have a feel of how it feels to do uh, Aboriginal painting, Australian painting. And also it reminds me of the Australian uh, Aborigines, the way they've been subjugated and the way they were almost extinct uh, in Australia. But bless them, they are still there and still kicking. Here, um, I'll take you just... I'll take you upstairs now. I'll show you some other paintings I have. Sorry, it's gone a bit, a bit dark from here. I'm just climbing up the stairs. But let me show you uh, this other one here. Can you see this one here? Let me just show you. This is a painting. It's also in oil paint. It's showing some kids picking cotton. You know? This one reminds me of a time of slavery when uh, the black people were enslaved in, in America where they used to pick up cotton. But despite the fact that they were going through trials and tribulations, they still had a time to, you know, to talk to one another, to, to chat and, and, and a time to relate to one another. You know, they still had a time to have kids, as you can see. The only heartbreaking thing is that the kids were born into slavery and at a young age, they were subjected to hard work. So, in a way, it's a good thing that the people, they got along, but in a way, it was not a good thing to subject young souls, young lives to such a life. But God bless the blacks in America for their resilience. Let me show you another one. This one here is a painting of the African forest. This one too reminds me of back home, of the kind of thickness of a forest that we have back home, well at least, but also it reminds me of a time when we had 
trees that were so old trees we had very old trees but currently at the moment with the current situation back home there's a lot of deforestation and it is my prayer that the government puts a stop to that deforestation because it's going to affect uh, our climate as it is it's already affecting the climate heating up climate and it's really no good and that's why we have uh, uh, the weather pattern has just changed drastically because of deforestation and it's not only happening in Zambia it's happening in the Amazon in the Congo so this needs to stop we need to encourage uh, growing trees so this is why I, grew, I painted this painting just to remind me of the times and uh, it, it tells a story so anyway I just want to say a very big thank you for listening to and watching some of my paintings. These are some of my paintings that I do in oil paint. Um, a blessing to all of you. A blessing to all of you. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, give it a like, give it a comment, and press the bell icon. God bless you, uh, all YouTube family. God bless you, Wodemaya, for um, welcoming me to the YouTube family. God bless you once again and uh, stay tuned.